Hi besties! So I told you guys that I would make my coffee and show you how I make my iced coffee. So kind of a shameless plug, but I use um, Javi Coffee all the time. Um, I use their protein coffee and also the coffee concentrates. You get 35 servings in like a little bottle like this, which is amazing. And they have a lot of different flavors. And so, um, they reached out to me and gave me a coupon code for you guys, which I'm insanely happy about. So, they have collagen creamer, they have coffee concentrate, protein coffee, coffee syrups, all kinds of things. So, if you're interested in something like this, the protein coffee, which I love, you get 10 grams of protein in this. There's zero sugar, it has probiotics in it, uh, 105 milligrams of caffeine, it's keto friendly, all of the things that I absolutely love. It is um, actually uh, sweetened with sucre, it's a natural prebiotic sugar. So if you're interested in getting any of this coffee, use my code JUSTGEN20, I'll put it on the screen somewhere for this. Um, so highly recommend this. I actually use it all the time. It's an instant iced coffee, which I love. So these are the other things I'm going to use. Guys, I use mason jars for like literally everything. <laughs> I'm going to do a cold foam with this pumpkin spice. And this is a uh, heavy cream, which I mix myself in our coffee, our iced coffee for the Javi coffee. I'm going to use eight ounces of almond milk and I'm winging it here. It's about a cup, that's actually probably more. I always get the unsweetened vanilla almond milk from Almond Breeze, which I love because it gives it just a little bit extra vanilla flavor. So we're gonna make the Javi coffee first. So you take your bag and they give you a scoop in here. So we do one, just one scoop into the coffee. And I'm sorry if you can hear my dishwasher but it's Sunday and I'm trying to be a Proverbs 31 woman so that's what we're doing today is all kinds of things. I love these little hand mixer type deals because they whip up coffee super fast. So that really mixes that up in there. The other thing I will say about Javi coffee is that it doesn't leave grit in here at all. It's very smooth. It's very yummy. It's already uh, got you know, sweetener in it so you don't have to add extra sweetener to it. Okay, so there's the coffee mixed up and I am gonna throw some ice in here. So I will be right back. So we're just gonna put some ice into our iced coffee and sorry, I am a mess with this stuff, I know. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to make my cold foam. It's, I use honey and heavy cream and then I'll usually add a little bit of pumpkin spice to it, but this honey um, which I absolutely love. It's from Savannah Bee um, Company. This is really freaking good, you guys. It's pumpkin spice honey. Um, they have lemon flavored. They have all kinds of flavors. So I just use just a little bit of this, like maybe that much. And it it is already whipped, technically. It's actually whipped honey. So I love it. It's so good at this time of year. And this is heavy cream, so I'm going to put a smidge of heavy cream in here. Alright, so there's that. And then we're going to take our whip again. I'm going to pounce on this honey a little bit because it's thick. So see it in there? You kind of got to break it up a little bit. And we're, then we're going to start blending. And it's going to get really thick and foamy and yummy and frothy. And the honey is going to sweeten the heavy cream which is freaking delicious I wish I could like show you guys but see how it's getting it's getting super frothy okay so we're gonna keep frothing it keep frothing it look how much that <laughs> look how much that heavy cream frothed up so I just make this cold foam for on top of my coffee is what I'm doing here And this stuff tastes so good, you guys. Okay, so there we go, the cold foam. We got our Javi coffee in the caramel mix. Really super yummy. And then we're gonna put the cold foam on top. Guys, this is so good. Look at this. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So there it is. 
And this honey cinnamon cold foam is so good. It's so, so good. So there is my coffee that I make all the time. It's super yummy. I highly recommend this uh, Javi coffee. So don't forget, I have a coupon code GEN20. There's my coffee, and I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. Hi, besties. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Um, so this is, well, not round two, but take two. Um, so I filmed my whole video, and then I went upstairs to edit it, and I was like, up, like my camera was here. Like, all you could see... So, we are going to try this again. If if I took the item out of the package and I don't have the price, I'll put it on the screen, okay? But everything will have a price. Um, <laughs> I even tested things. I mean, what am I doing? Okay, I get in a hurry, I think. I, I think I get in a hurry to do things and I just, you know, and my, my I'm, I'm, I'm already glistening because I was having a hot flash earlier. But anyways, I'm sure you don't want to hear about that. Um, so yeah, I just thought there was some good stuff in here and I didn't want to like just not do the haul. So I'm like, let's just redo it. Let's just come down here and redo it. So here we are. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you're having a wonderful, amazing day today. And let's go through this bag of goodies. Some Halloween, some fall, some Christmas, some stuff. Oh, let's, let's just start with this because I got this. And it was $3, I think, 12 cents, but I'll, I'll put the price up on the screen, but it's gorgeous. It was the only ring in the bag. I can't even believe it. Um, I hope that my camera is even focusing, but it's really, really, really pretty. It doesn't really say engagement, doesn't really say married, but it says, it says something, doesn't it? Okay, anyway, that's item number one. Okay, so I got a few flags in this haul. This is the big, I think I got two big flags, but this is one of the big flags. It's like a 28 by 40, I think. It is adorable. It was like in the $5 range, but again, I'll put the prices up. So it's black and white buffalo check, which I love. And then the front of it is this really cute little girl jack-o'-lantern with a bow in her, a black and white bow in her hair really stinking cute and then at the bottom it says welcome so I think that's stinking adorable I hope you guys could see it the colors on here are amazing I mean they are amazing like really vibrant it's double-sided really cute so I mean I know what's like already October 18th and I am late to everything let me tell you okay then I got a couple of garden flags um, these are around two each. This one says, Hello Pumpkin, and it's got, you know, it's got like this green color on it, which I really like, and of course more Buffalo Check, black and white. I'm, I'm into like the black and white stuff, you know, like the black and white theme. All of my curtains are black and white Buffalo Check, but really cute, really cute. And then this one kind of matches, well, it sort of matches the big flag, but there's no face on the jack-o'-lantern. It's just a pumpkin with a big bow. And I love that they put, like, the dots with the buffalo check. And then at the bottom it says, welcome. It's super cute. I love it. So they have great flags on Timu. These are both double-sided. And they're kind of like a, um, like a burlap. But it's not burlap, but, but it feels kind of like burlap, if that makes sense. Okay, then I have bought these before. They are a lot like skims. Um, so... <laughs> Move over, Kim Kardashian. I'm buying my skims at Timu. This was $4.89. I bought a couple of these before. Now, I have two in this color that I've... This is the second one I bought in this color. And then I have a black one as well. But it's like a little cami bodysuit. But this stuff is like... It holds you in like crazy. Like it's super stretchy. It's really nice and thick. It doesn't seem to want to ride up. It's really long too. So if you have a long torso, now I have a short torso. So 
this thing is long on me, you know, like I can pull it down past my butt. So it doesn't ride up, but it's super stretchy. It holds you in, makes you like super curvy. I love it. Um, so highly recommend these. This one was $4.89, like I said. So love that. Super duper item there. I got, I actually, I accidentally opened this on my first my first video, but it was $4.49. I always get these micro needling patches. They're the dissolving micro needle patches. Um, it, I was laughing because this up here says no pang, all, all gain, whatever that means. No pang, all gain. I have no idea. I think they meant no pain, but anyways, <laughs> so you only get one set. So I'm going to use these tonight, but they have like hyaluronic acid on them and that's what makes up the micro needles. So the actual micro needle part that dissolves is uh, hyaluronic acid and peptides and that kind of thing. So I'm going to try these tonight. I Like I said, I've used these before and I really like them. So I'm going to use them tonight, I guess. And then I got this cross and I love this. I've gotten a couple different crosses from Timu, but it's just really pretty. It's white. It's distressed. Um, it's just a really pretty, got a really pretty look to it. Um, so yeah, I really like it. I'm going to hang it up, I think, in my living room. But I love that it looks distressed. Like, I love that. I distress everything in my life, even myself. No. <laughs> I mean, I could buy anything from the thrift store and I paint that thing white and distress it. It could be a wooden duck. It could be a jewelry box. It could be whatever. I paint that thing white and distress it. A table, a side table, anything. <laughs> it's like, that's my life apparently. So then I found this sign, which I love. And I love this because it's got like a wooden frame to it, which is really nice. And it says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians part, chapter four, verse 13. Love that. I bought in a couple of their, um, like frames like this with the sayings on the inside you just kind of have to watch pay attention to the reviews and to the pictures because a lot of time I've been catfished into thinking that it was a wood frame but it wasn't but this one is so really like that and if you don't like that this is shiny right here which I'm not a big fan of like this shiny look you could take that matte mod podge and just you know, put it over this and it'll make it matte. So that's probably what I'll do. Or, or they have it in a spray too, which would also be great. And it would also, um, this wood doesn't seem treated, so it would seal in the wood, which would, would also be a good idea for that. Okay, then next up, I'm glad I cut this out of the first video because, or I, because this was a mess. Um, this is a garland made out of these berries and I am not taking it out of this bag again. <laughs> No way. It was $4.99 and it's just a garland and it's got these like red berries. Which the berries are beautiful. They're gorgeous. They're vibrant. But getting, I'm going to just buyer beware. Don't even bother taking this out of the bag until you use it because it caused such a problem for me. And like a bunch of the berries fell off. So you got to really be careful when you pull it off. But it looks beautiful. I mean, they're just really vibrant and great. I would probably not use this as a garland. I would probably use it, I would probably leave it wrapped around like this and put it, a candle, either a candle on the inside or put this inside of a lantern and then put the candle in the center because this thing loves to stick to itself and the more you try and get it apart, the worse the worse that thing comes apart. It's it's a real pain in the butt. So I'm just warning you, if you happen to go to my links and buy something, just know that that thing is a bugger to get out of that bag. And I bought this um, garland. <laughs> this one isn't as bad though. It actually came out of the bag fine. It's a really long, like, it needs judged very badly, but it, it looks really real. Like it's pine, I'm assuming, or fur or something, but I love it. It looks so realistic and just really pretty for Christmas or the winter season. Put some lights with this, maybe dangle some snowflakes out of it, super pretty. And I think it was like $8.99, which isn't a bad price for a garland that looks like that. I mean, it looks super realistic. It kind of smells, but it's just really pretty. Okay, then I got this little like hat for winter. It was seven, it says $7.43. I can't believe I paid $7.43 for this, to be honest with you. But the top is open, so you can like just slide it down onto your head and like cover your ears in the wintertime. It's really nice and thick, and it's very, very soft on the inside. And I love the outside. It just looks so soft. And then it's got like a little fake 
kind of like Michael Kors. It almost, that reminds me of Michael Kors anyway. I don't know. But it's got that little like emblem right there and then the front of it. I don't know. It's just really cute, I think. Would be really cute out at your hot cocoa bar or out sled riding or you're out at the farm or whatever, you know? Just really cute. Love that. So, but $7.43 for that, I was like, ooh. Here's the other f big flag I got and I really like this. Um, I will say I think it'll be able to carry me through to maybe Thanksgiving um, because obviously I'm late to the October stuff. But so it's black and white buffalo check, of course. And then it's got this um, orange uh, truck on it with a bow. Does the truck have a bow? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Whatever. Really cute. Really cute. And then the bottom says, welcome. But I love the black and white with the orange. It's just so pretty. And there's some like pumpkins in the background and flowers in the background and all the things. But these colors are great. I mean, very super vibrant. I just think it's adorable. I love it. I love it. So I might get that out tonight, I think. Then I got these wooden utensils for the kitchen. And I thought they were really kind of cool. They're not made really very well, but they're, they are vegetable peelers. But I love the look of the wood and like the black together. Together. So I I don't know maybe it was more of a decor piece to me than like an actual functional item But I'm gonna use them. So, you know, but yeah, these two came as a set Together and ow that's sharp Then I got this little pumpkin washi tape. It was two dollars. I thought it was stinking adorable. Look how adorable it is I hope it's focusing. Um, just really really cute uh, pumpkin tape for friend mail and then I got this other wooden item. <laughs> I just thought it looked, it just looked so aesthetically pleasing to me. I don't know why. It's probably not going to last in my kitchen very long, but it's like a little pan scrub brush and it's wood and it's got this little hang thing on it. But this is like bamboo or something, I think. I'm not sure. I don't know. But either way, this is very stiff and could really do some scrubbing. So that sounded terrible of me. But yeah. Okay, anyway, moving on. So then I got this, I got two of these. Um, this was $1.19. It is some eyebrow shaping and lip hair removal in like a little vegan wax kit. Um, so you don't have to heat this stuff up. You just can use it and go on with your life, I guess. But, you know, I don't know. I guess I'll have to try it. But... <sighs> I would rather just shave my face and get it over with. But so here's the wax comes in like this tube like this. And so you put that on your skin or you put it on your eyebrows. And then it comes with these little pads, which I assume you lay over and then rip it off. And then there's like a little after wax care stuff. But yeah, so I'm going to try it. Maybe I'll try it tonight. Okay, so then I got these little... There's like seven of these in here. But like I said, since I've already done this haul they're all over the place in here because i was trying to like put everything in one bag so you get seven of these like little baggies and i was going to put them in my purse like put like tylenol in one or tom's and like prozac <laughs> or whatever you can give your jewelry in these like or whatnot you know like i was just going to put them down in my purse because i t i tend to carry like a big bag of tylenol in my purse and i thought these are so much like smaller and there's like a zip on them, probably a lot cleaner, you know. So I grabbed, I grabbed those. Okay, then I bought these. Um, they're 12 sheets of like Christmas music. And they look like kind of old or vintage. But I have a little project that I want to do with these. So, and I'm not even holding them right. But that one's like a oh, Christmas tree. But yeah, they're just little pieces of paper for like a journaling or whatnot. They got like the first Noel. But they just look really cool. Like, whose child is this? And joy to the world. And I'm going to use them for a little project I have coming up. I just think they look really, really pretty. Ooh, this one's pretty. It's Silent Night. I love that one. So, yeah, you get 12 sheets for $2.51 for those. So, those are really cool. I got this little wood ornament, which I, I guess it's like a, more like a shelf sitter, but it was $2.51. I've got this before, so I'm probably going to put this in a giveaway, but it says it's the most wonderful time of the year. It's just a white piece of wood with a saying on it, and it's like red, white, and green, which I always do like really um, traditional Christmas colors, red, white, and green. That's like my thing, so 
That's what I do every year. Then I got these little, like they're little metal spoons. And I thought these would be cute out on my hot cocoa bar, like in containers to, um, you know, scoop out like little mini chocolate chips or little like pieces of peppermint or whatever. So you get like a whole set of them and they're metal. They're really cute. So I got those for that. And then I got this necklace, which I love, and it was $2.89, and it's kind of like a chunky chain on it, and the toggle is actually in the front of the necklace, which I love, but I'm sure it's going to be, like, really short. It's probably going to be, like, you know, right here, probably-ish, but the toggle is in the front, so that's kind of interesting, but yeah, I just really liked it. I think that's the front of it, yeah, yeah, that's the front. Oscar's making noises over here. Okay. Then, last but certainly not least, I got this plastic item. <laughs> it was $5.49. It's like a little clipboard. It's a plastic, like, clipboard, so you can put your clip, you know, clip your papers in here or a notepad or a pen or whatever, and then you can open this up, and it opens up, and you could probably even stick like your Android tablet in here or your iPad or anything. So if you have to like take notes or you're at work or whatever your side gig might be, you might need something like that for. So yeah, I just thought this would be a good item to have for like my side business to keep like some notes and stuff in. But that was my haul. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. And I hope you enjoyed my coffee recipe at the beginning of this video. So if you if you like stuff like that, let me know. And also, uh, just wanted to mention real quick, if anybody's even still listening to me at this point, I had a giveaway like a couple few days ago and I got a hold of one of the winner, but not both. So I'm going to give the other winner till tomorrow. Um, if you're listening, your handle is at KMay1994. I have it listed in my community tab. So if that's you, please reach out to me, leave a comment or whatever, and I will get back and I'll get to you so I can get this stuff in the mail to you. But yeah, I heard from one winner, but not the other one. So if KMay1994 doesn't get back to me by tonight or tomorrow, I'll, I'll, in my next video, I'm going to draw another winner because I do want to give that stuff away. So Thank you so much for watching. I really truly appreciate it and I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!